we're at Irwindale, California for the finals of the Formula Drift Championship. Currently sitting in third place, qualifying first yesterday, looking for a number one finish tonight. You know, Irwindale is probably one of the most committal tracks on the Formula Drift Championship Series. Uh, an event that we've won before, an event that we've just missed the podium as well. It's a very committed high-speed course that has an inner field uh, bank that you know will suck a lot of cars into that wall and if you're good, if your car's dialed, you're going to come out of it on top. If not, you're going in deep and it is going to be ugly. You know, Irwindale qualifying, wow, you just have to be committed. You know, that initiation into the first corner and just stick the rear of the car right on the wall and just power it fluently all the way through the first clipping point. Big angle across the second inside clipping point over the start finish line and then fire it down into the inner bank. We hit all of those with a maximum 97 run score, some seven points clear of the competition. Top 32, I just, I really do not like top 32. Um, picked to go against uh, Kenny Moen um, and Tanner Faust's old Nissan 350Z. And I was really nervous for it, to be honest. Um, early practice, the temperatures in the track were different than what we practiced last night and qualified last night, and the car was really unbalanced. Last minute change of kind of resetting the ride height on the front and tire pressures, and the balance came back, thankfully. And we, we eclipsed him on top 32 and moved on to the top 16. through the top 32 into the top 16 main event we had Kyle Mohan. Guy's always on fire you know putting down some solid runs um, but you know this Hyundai Genesis was just unstoppable tonight. The car was so fast it was so predictable I could just place it wherever I wanted and we had the advantage of qualifying highest so we were going to lead pretty much the entire night setting the pace for what our competition needed to do behind us and we put enough a big enough gap Kyle had to straighten up on the infield that we just had to have a clean, solid run behind him. We did, we moved on to the grade eight. Grade 8 was the biggest surprise of the night, peering out with Pat Mordaunt. Pat surely put on a good show for him. Leading, we put down a flawless run and put on the pressure for Pat. And we were right, right on him, all over him. Moving on to the top four. The final four was really the battle of the night. Drawing Daigo Saito. Basically, the championship was decided between who would win the final four. There was eight points between us going into that round. With a 10 to 12 point spread, whoever advanced would clear for the championship, basically. We led first, put down an amazing run. The car was on point everywhere. We pushed too hard, maybe. Um, he stalled in the infield, and, and I stalled behind him longer than I wanted to, correcting our line maybe a foot or so. The rear of the car impacted the wall pulling the front of the car in. Pretty much the only thing that was going to stop that Genesis Coupe tonight was the wall, and unfortunately it did. All in all, it's been an incredible season to uh, come here with the first, fourth year of development with the Genesis Coupe and, and have the car really just performing flawlessly. Um, you know, to put on an amazing show, driving skill and, and, and team support um, for the fans at every round that we've gone to and, and make the championship that close, coming down to some 20 point spread sort of thing. Uh, you know, it's it's amazing way to drive, it's an amazing way to earn a living. And uh, a big thanks and tip of the hat to, to Pulse, to Hancock and to Hyundai for their support. 
And, um, you know, we hope to be back here next year.